your girl Trish. I wanted to bring you guys a simple everyday, my everyday look that I usually do. Um, sometimes I don't do any eyeshadow and sometimes if I do, it's very minimal. And so now that I'm back to filming or whatever, I didn't want to come back too heavy yet. I had to get my feet wet again. So I wanted to just do my everyday look. Um, this is the look that I do like every day if I'm like if I'm if, if I'm even in the mood of doing my makeup because 90 percent of the time I am not wearing makeup I am lounging around I am looking like Trey most of the time which is cool or whatever every now and then you gotta let your, your skin just breathe everybody's skin is like y'all skin like my skin is a break sometimes so I'm not always like just beat you know so yeah so this is the, my um go-to look my everyday look that I did for you guys today I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you guys want to see how I got this look, stay tuned and keep watching. Thanks for watching, and do not please, please do not leave here without showing me some love and subscribing to my channel, y'all. I'll see y'all in my next one. We're gonna be starting off with my eyeshadow base. So I'm going in with these two concealers. This one is the Makeup Revolution concealer in the shade C13. I think that's what it's called. And I'll be going in with the Ella Girl Pro Concealer and the color Toast. And I'm going to be mixing those two together to make my perfect base. Now I'm going into this Morphe 25, I think it's the 25A or the 25B. I will make sure to leave everything listed in the uh, description per usual. I'm using this warm brown shade. Um, there is a name for it, but I don't remember the name. Like I said, I'll list everything down in the description box. But I am putting this shade in my crease and my kind of blending it up towards my brow bones a little bit too. Now I'm taking this tan, this light tan color, and I'm going to use that shade to blend out that brown that I just put down. This uh, eyeshadow look is very easy, y'all. No, no cut crease, no nothing. It's just real simple. Now I'm taking this really light, um brown shade and I'm gonna be packing it on my lid I'm just packing it there is no there's no technique to it. I'm just patting it there and I'm just gonna take my blending brush and blend it in with the rest of the eyeshadows that I have on my lid like I said this look is very simple there's no cut crease just something quick and easy because on a normal day if I am doing eyeshadow it's something simple sometimes I may just go in with one eyeshadow and just blend it all over my lid and just call it a day and do my li my little liner and my lashes. I don't do too much with my eyes on an everyday basis. Now I'm just packing on a little bit more um, of that light tan shade. Now I'm just blending everything together. Now I'm taking my Wet n Wild liner and I'm going to be lining my um, lining my lids with that. Kind of messed up on my eyeliner here. I'm just going to take this uh, this brush that I use for my um, my brows to kind of blend it out. And I love a nice wing, so I always wing out my um, my eyeliner. Sometimes it's a little bit more dramatic. Sometimes it's a little bit more simple. It just uh, it just depends on my mood and how my eyeliner decides it wants to come out that 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 day. I already did my lashes. It's just some lashes from the beauty supply store. Now I'm just taking my Wet n Wild face primer, and I'm going to be putting that on my face to prep my skin for my foundation.
If y'all want to see how I, you know, put my wig on and everything, check out the previous video before this one because I'm pretty sure that I posted, well, not pretty sure I did post that video before I um, edited this video. Now I'm taking them going in with my two foundations that I mixed together is the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation and the Fenty Beauty Foundation. One in the Maybelline I wear deep bronze and then the Fenty Foundation I think I am F80 or F90 is one of them but I mixed the two together and now I'm just putting it all over my face and I'm going to go in with a beauty blender to blend everything out. I love blending these two foundations together because one of them, one of them, the undertone is too warm and the other one, the, uh, the undertone is too cool. So I like to get mix the two to get my perfect undertone if that makes sense. That's typically what I like to do with my foundations if one foundation is um, not matching my undertone the way it's supposed to match my undertone. Now I'm taking this Makeup Revolution foundation in the shade. I think it's F. 13 or I don't know what shade this is but that it's the same shade as the concealer it's the same consistency so I just you know I just used a big bottle uh, so I'm not always having to repurchase the small concealer bottle and I'm just blending that out with my beauty blender sponge And I hope everyone had a happy, happy Valentine's Day with all their loved ones. I know I enjoyed my nights. So I hope everybody else enjoyed their um, day as well. Now I am about to go in with my Sasha Buttercup powder. Y'all, this powder is almost gone. I don't know if I'm going to repurchase it or not because I do have this other um, powder that I'm kind of testing out too. I don't know. I may, I've been having this Sasha Buttercup one forever and it's now it's just about almost being done or whatever. So I don't know. I may or may not repurchase it, but I'm putting that in all my highlighted areas, the usual spots. And I'm just dusting it away with this brush that I got in this, uh, it was a free brush that I got with one of my makeup orders. Now I'm going into my Juvia's Place palette and I'm taking this dark brown shade that I always used to contour with. Um, it's the shade, I think it's the shade called Kenya in that palette. And y'all, okay, so y'all know Juvia's Place been dropping their palettes and stuff and um, I have I've been having the tri palette for the longest. I just got the Warrior Three palette and the Nomad palette like a month ago. I know everything is late, but y'all know I all I have a, a a series that I like to do on my channel with the Juvia's Place palette. Let me know down in the comments if I should do a tutorial using these palettes because I know, like I said, these um palettes has dropped. It's been a while since these palettes has dropped. So let me know if y'all still would like to see a look from me using those three palettes. And for my powder, I'm using the Black Radiance uh, True Complexion Powder. And the I think the shade is called Dark Cocoa or Cocoa Kisses. It's something. Like I said, I'll leave everything down in the description box. But I do love this powder. This powder gives me like a nice warm bronze finish. And it kind of, I just love the way it ties in all my makeup together. I'm just going back in with my contour shade. 
Now I'm taking my Anastasia Glow Palette and I'm taking this gold highlighter in the palette and I'm putting that in my inner tear duct and I'm going to be putting that in my brow bone um, my brow on my brow bone as well typically when I do like my everyday look I love a nice glowy look so I tend to use any type of like gold highlighter or whatever highlight I decide to use at that time Now I'm going to my e.l.f. blush quad and I'm taking this dark orange slash red shade and I'm just going to put that on the apple of my cheeks. Now I'm taking this Wet n Wow setting spray and I'm just going to spray that all over my face I used a little bit too much but it's okay now I'm taking this wet and wild loose highlighter and I think this one is called hustle and glow it's either hustle and glow or it's all glowing up it's one of them but I'm using that as my highlighter today I forgot to contour my nose, so y'all just gonna see me contouring my nose in this clip. And I just use this Ruby Kisses powder that I like to use. This is nice. It's not too. It's not too harsh and it's not too um, dark. So I like to go in with that for my nose contour. As for my lips, I'm using this Morphe lip liner. I think this one was. I don't remember the shade for this one you guys but it's a dark brown lip liner and i'm gonna go in with my mac lipstick in the shade velvet titty y'all please excuse my dog because all i could see is her passing her little butt in between my uh clips over here looking at herself in this mirror she is a mess you guys just look at it just can't help herself this lipstick is an oldie but goodie, so this is probably one of my favorite uh, lipstick colors. And I am just taking this MAC lip gloss and I'm going to be putting that on top of my lipstick just to give my lips a little shine. 